Good day everyone, I'm your Mr. ATL and welcome back to my channel. At the end of this video lesson, you will learn the following competencies. Number one, illustrates and symbolizes propositions. Number two, distinguishes between simple and compound propositions. And number three, performs the different types of operations on propositions. So, umpisa na natin. What is proposition? Proposition is a declarative sentence that can be classified as true or false but not both. Pero ano ba ang declarative sentence? Declarative sentence is used to make statement of fact, wish, intent, or feeling. Example, I wish I could visit my grandparents this winter. So, isa siyang statement of wish. Okay? So, tandaan niyong mabuti ito. But be careful to differentiate the declarative sentence, imperative sentence, interrogative sentence, and exclamatory sentence. Read carefully its difference with the declarative sentence. So, maging maingat kayo dahil baka magkaroon kayo ng kalituhan pagdating sa ibang types of sentence. So, ito na yung imperative sentence. It is used to state a command, request, or directions. Example nito, please read your lesson. So, ang statement or ang sentence na please read your lesson ay isang imperative sentence dahil naguutos ito or stating a command. Interrogative sentence is used to ask a question and uses this mark or called as the question mark. What is your name is an example of this kind of sentence. So, yung interrogative sentence, ito naman yung mga patanong na ses sentences. Exclamatory sentence is used to express strong feelings. Get out of here is an example of this. Also, this kind of sentence uses exclamation point. So, kung ang interrogative sentence uses the question mark, dito naman, it uses exclamation point. May mga pagkakataon na ang declarative sentence ay true o kaya false. So, tandaan nyo lang to. Remember, note that if the given statement is a declarative sentence, whether it is true or false is considered as proposition. So, true or false man yon, considered yon as proposition. Okay, tandaan nyo po ito. Examples, determine whether each of the following is a proposition or not. Number 1, the number 5 is an odd number and greater than 3. So, number 1, nakalagay dyan, is statement of fact. So, true or false man yan, number 1 is a proposition. Number 2, Marikina is the capital of the Philippines. So, statement of fact din yan. Hindi, pero that is false kasi ang Manila is the capital of the Philippines. But still, it's a proposition. Number three, do you have already your USB OTG? So, since ito ay interrogative sentence or patanong, that is not a proposition. Number four, your answer is correct. So, sa number four, Hindi natin ito masasabi kung true o kaya false dahil parang incomplete yung statement na to. So, ang sabi natin, ang proposition pwede siyang true, pwede rin siyang false, pero hindi dapat parehas. So, therefore, it is not a proposition. Number five, that's great. So, kung titignan nyo, this is not a declarative sentence but an or exclamatory sentence. It uses exclamation point and expresses strong feelings. So therefore, this is not a proposition. Simple and compound propositions. Simple proposition is a proposition that conveys one thought with no connecting words. Whereas, compound proposition contains two or more simple propositions that are put together using connective words. So, compound proposition 
some logical connectors involving proposition P and or Q may be expressed as follows. So, ituloy pa natin. Not P, negation yun. P and Q, conjunction. P or Q, disjunction. If P, then Q, conditional. If and only if, by conditional. So, kapag ginamitan ito ng mga logical connectors tulad ng mga yan, sila ay compound propositions. Okay? So, iba yun sa simple proposition lang. Examples. Classifies each proposition as simple or compound. Number one, he is confidently beautiful with a heart. So, sa number one, wala naman siya mga connectors na or, not, and, if, and only if, and so on. So, therefore, that is a simple proposition. Okay, again, number one, simple proposition. Number two, I play Among Us, but I want to play it with my friends. So, meron siyang dalawang simple proposition. So, therefore, that is compound proposition. Again, number two, compound proposition. Number three, if you're a member of our group, then you can avail 25% discount. So, dito... Meron siyang dalawang simple propositions. Meron siyang if you are a member of our group, then you are you can avail 25% discount. So that is a compound proposition. Number 3, John Ray Chanco is our congressman, but Toby Chanco is our mayor. So dito ulit, meron siyang dalawang simple proposition. So, therefore, that is a compound proposition. So, so next number five, either you help your mother or she will die due to over fatigue. So, dalawa ang simple propositions dito. So, therefore, that is compound proposition. And number five, the graph of a function is straight line if and only if its equation is in first degree. So, dalawa ang kanyang simple propositions so that is a compound proposition at ginamitan ito ng if and only if na connective so therefore compound proposition symbolizing propositions symbols are used to simplify work in logic if x and y are frequently used letters in algebra the letters p q or R are often used to represent propositions in logic. The table shows the several symbols for connectives together with the respective types of compound proposition. So, sa unang column, ito yung mga connective. Sa second column, ito yung mga symbol kung paano isi-symbolize isi yung mga connective na yan. And then, yung type of proposition nandun sa third column kapag end para siyang nakasimbol na karet pag or pabaligtad para siyang letter V pag not it's a tilde for if then meron siyang arrow to the right if and only if dalawa naman arrow heads na nakaturo sa left and right okay so tandaan nyo yung mga symbol na yan okay so magbigay tayo ng examples let P represents the proposition Ken is a hard-working person. Yung Q naman represents the proposition he can accomplish many things. So, ang gagawin natin, we will convert each compound proposition into symbols. So, number one muna. Ken is a hard-working person and he can accomplish many things. So, kung titingnan nyo yung P at saka yung Q na statement, nilagyan siya ng end na connective. So, therefore, gagamitin natin yung symbol na ito. Okay, number two. Ken is not a hardworking person and he cannot accomplish many things. So, ninegate niya yung letter P, pati yung letter Q. So, paano yun isusulat in symbol? Ganito yun.
Number three, it is not the case that Ken is a hardworking person or he can accomplish many things. So, dito sa number three, ninegate niya yung buong Ken is a hardworking person or he can accomplish many things. So, therefore, maglalagay tayo ng negation symbol at lalagyan natin ng grouping symbol yung Ken is a hardworking person or so gagamit pa tayo ng isa pang um, disjunction na symbol he can accomplish many things so ganito siya number 4 if Ken is a hardworking person then he can accomplish many things so naka if then statement siya kaya ito ay conditional statement so paano yung symbol ganito yung gagamitin natin example number 5 Ken is a hard working person if and only if he can accomplish many things so yung pinaka keyword natin dyan is yung if and only if and gagamitan natin siya ng ganitong symbol So, the different type of operations on proposition, we have negation, conjunction, disjunction, implication, and biconditional. Let's take the statement, Lapu-Lapu is a brave man. This statement, which we can represent with a variable P, is either true or false. So, P equals Lapu-Lapu is a brave man. So, yun muna yung letter P natin. So, magiging true yan kung talaga namang Lapu-Lapu is really a brave man. So, nakalagay dyan, if Lapu-Lapu is really a brave man, then P is true. If it is not, then P is false. So, negation. The negation of a statement called not P is this statement that contradicts P and has the opposite truth value. So, not P equals Lapu-Lapu is not a brave man. So, kanina, P equals Lapu-Lapu is a brave man. Pag nag nagkaroon na tayo ng negation, not P equals Lapu-Lapu is not a brave man. Okay? So, magpapakita ako ng mga possibilities para sa negation ng P. Okay, so negation. Sa unang column, nakalagay yung P. Yung P natin ay pwedeng maging true at pwedeng maging false. So, kung true siya, syempre, ang not P, kabalik ng true, that is false. Kapag false naman siya, kabalik yan, that is true. So, ito yung mga possibilities para sa negation. Conjunction. A conjunction is a compound statement representing the word end. For example, we have the following statements. So, P equals Lapu-Lapu is a brave man. And let Q is he fights for his countrymen's freedom. So, the conjunction P and Q are... So, conjunction. Sa unang column, merong P. Ito yung first na statement kanina. Q, ito yung pangalawa naman. P and Q. So, Pwedeng maging pares na true yung first and second statement. Pwede na namang true yung una, false yung pangalawang statement. Pwede rin namang false yung una, true naman sa pangalawang statement. At pwede rin naman silang pares na false. So dito, kapag parehas true ang statement, ang P and Q ay true. Sa so example, pinabili ka ng mama mo ng suka at toyo. Yung P mo, suka. Yung Q mo, toyo. So, true yung suka mo, nakabili ka, true. Yung toyo, true din. So, therefore, okay yun sa mama mo, kaya ang P and Q ay true. Pero kapag binili mo lang ay suka at hindi ka nakabili ng toyo, magiging false doon sa P and Q. O kaya kapag ka hindi ka nakabili ng suka, nakabili ka naman ng toyo, kulang pa rin. Kaya false ang iyong PNQ. Pero kung parehas na hindi mo ito nabili, 
false pa rin ang P and Q. So, hindi pa rin okay yun. So, yun lang yung illustration para doon sa conjunction ng proposition. Disjunction. A disjunction is a compound statement representing the word or. In order for the disjunction to be true, one or both of the original statements has to be true. For example, we have the following statement. So, yung P ulit natin is lapu-lapu is a brave man and Q niya is he, is he fights for his countryman's freedom. So, the disjunction of P or Q is lapu-lapu is a brave man or he fights for his countryman's freedom. Okay, so ito yung truth table para sa disjunction. So, meron tayong tatlong column ulit. Yung P, yung Q, at P or Q. So, P pwede siyang maging true. Q pwede rin maging true. Kapag ka parehas true, ang value nun, P or Q, ay true. Kapag ka naman true ang P, Q ay false, pwede pa rin maging true ang iyong P or Q. Kapag ka ang P mo ay false, ang Q mo ay true, ang P or Q mo ay true pa rin. Kapag naman parehas false, false na ang iyong disjunction ng P or Q. So, tandaan nyo lang kapag ka mayroong isang T, at least one T, true pa rin ang disjunction. So, example nito ay pinabibili ka ng mama mo ng suka or toyo. So, ibig sabihin, pwedeng suka lang, pwedeng toyo lang rin. Kung nabili mo yung parehas, parehas true, So, mas okay yon Pero, kung wala ka namang nabili na kahit isa, syempre, hindi yun okay. So, that is false. So, yun lang yung representation para doon sa disjunction ng proposition. An implication is a conditional if-then statement like, If Lapu-Lapu is a brave man, then he fights for his countryman's freedom. The statement is being divided into two, where the first part or the if part is the antecedent or called as the hypothesis and the second or the then part is the consequent or called as the conclusion. So, in the example, if Lapu-Lapu is a brave man, then he fights for his countryman's freedom. Yung if part na yon, if Lapu-Lapu is a brave man, ang tawag doon is antecedent o kaya hypothesis. Yung sa second part naman, or yung then part na, he, then he fights for his countryman's freedom, ang tawag doon is consequent or the conclusion. Okay? So, P is lapu-lapu is a brave man. Q, he fights for his countryman's freedom. So, ipapakita ko yung kanyang truth table. So, kung titingnan nyo mabuti, yung first column na P, yung second column na Q, Ganun rin siya, parehas pa rin siya. Pero doon sa third column na P, then Q, magiging false lang siya kung true ang P, ang Q naman ay false. Tapos lahat, puro true na siya. So, yun lang ang tatandaan nyo dito sa implication of proposition. So, by conditional naman. For example, suppose that P equals Lapu-Lapu is a brave man, Q equals he fights for his countryman's freedom, Applying the biconditional P, if and only Q of the propositions, we will have Lapu-Lapu is a brave man if and only if he fights for his countryman's freedom. So, ipapakita ko ngayon yung kanyang truth table. Kung titingnan nyo, looking at the pattern, nagiging true siya kapag parehas ang P at Q ng value. So, tingnan nyo kung parehas true, true ang P if and only if Q. Kapag ka parehas false, true pa rin ang P and only if Q. Kapag ka magkaiba ng value ang P and Q, nagiging false ang P if and only Q. Okay? Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoy learning about the illustrating propositions. And before I end up my video, I would like to give my special thanks to Mr. L.D. and Dalikan and to those authors of these learning resources. And I hope you learned something. Goodbye!